This is Roy C. Sullivan, who was struck by lightning seven times. And this is the curious case of the human lightning conductor from Virginia, USA. One of the most vivid memories I have of, as a child is reading the Guinness World Records edition. I think it was the 1986 book, and I read about Roy Cleveland Sullivan. You're brought up to know that lightning never strikes twice, it's that awful phrase. But here was living proof that you can be hit that many times. And more amazingly, I think, is to survive it. A single lightning strike carries a charge of several hundred million volts and has a peak current of around 20,000 amps, which is a lot. And while they say that lightning never strikes twice, it certainly did in the case of this park ranger. The first time he was struck, in 1942, he was hiding from a thunderstorm in a lookout tower, which had just been built, and it didn't yet have a lightning rod. The tower was struck, and when he fled from the burning building, he was struck and lost a big toenail. Roy's next lightning encounter was in 1969. He was driving his truck in the mountain. Now, usually this would be protection from a lightning strike, but he had the window open and the lightning knocked him unconscious and burnt off his eyebrows and eyelashes. This Tesla coil generates an electric blast of 250,000 volts. A bolt of lightning is about 300 million volts. Storms cause an electrical imbalance between the clouds and the ground, which results in electric discharge. And lightning's hot! It can actually be five times the temperature of the surface of the sun! In theory, the chances of being struck by lightning just once in an 80-year lifespan are 1 in 10,000. However, this depends very much on where you are and what you do. Roy was a park ranger in the Shenandoah National Park in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which meant that he was outside and at high elevations in an area that experienced many days of lightning and storm activity a year. The Blue Ridge Mountains see between 35 and 45 days of thunderstorm activity every year. In 1970, he was struck in his own front yard and his left shoulder was seared. And then in 1972, he was struck for a fourth time whilst in a ranger station and his hair caught fire. In 1973, he saw some storm clouds gathering and tried to outrun them. When he thought it was safe, he stepped out of his truck, only to be hit once more. The lightning passed through him, searing his legs and singeing his hair. Poor Roy was struck again in 1976, injuring his ankle and burning his hair again. Roy's wife was also struck once, when a storm suddenly arrived as she was hanging out clothes in their backyard. But this time, her husband, who was helping her, escaped unharmed. In later life, Roy was a lonely man, as many chose simply to avoid him rather than to run the risk of being struck by lightning themselves. What really actually stuck with me in reading about Roy's case, especially after reaching the level of seven strikes, is that he actually died not by lightning strike, but by sadly taking his own life. So he'd gone through all these seven agonizing experiences survived what would kill anyone else normally, and yet he decided that he'd had enough with this world. Uh, so it's a very sad end, really, but uh, it's, some of that stayed with me all, all these years. So Roy is very, very, very much deserving of his place in the Curious Casebook.